I got a story I want to tell you. Now I'm going to say this story in the first person. But I've heard it down through the grapevines. Now we all know about tradition. Oh, you know, tradition, you know. Christmas was Christ born on the 25th of December. Now. And what do rabbits have to do with Easter? Do rabbits have eggs? <laughs> I don't think so. And Halloween, by the way. What are we celebrating? Well, I'm telling you. We've all learned to accept tradition as the gospel truth. And I want to tell you a story. Maybe we'll give you a second look at tradition. And this story starts out kind of like this. My wife called me at work and said, Baby, Stop at the marketplace, pick us up a ham. And be sure to take it over to the butcher and cut the ends off the ham. And I'm thinking, why do you want to cut the ends off the ham? So I had him do that. But while I was driving home, I thought, well, I'm going to call mother and asked her why the heels of the ham had to been cut off. You know what she told me? She said, well, that's the way we've always done it. That's the way mother had done it. And I'm taken. Okay, so I need to call grandma. So I called grandma up. And I said, Grandma, why do the heels on the end of the ham have to be cut off? And she, you know what she said to me? And I'll never forget it. She said, Because the pen wasn't big enough to fit the ham. Really? So all these generations, we were cutting off the ends of the ham just because the ham wouldn't fit in the pan. Now that's tradition. Why, I do not know. But when you think about tradition, think about where it comes from, what does it mean to you? And is there any truth in it for the beginning of it all? But it's okay. You can believe in your traditions. But at least think about where did it come from? What is the truth of it all? And what does it have to mean to me? So please, I just want to relate that story to you. You'll be do fine. But think about what you believe. What you believe in. You have to think about what you believe. Hey, you gotta know what you believe. Because what you believe is everything about you. And if it's not truth, it's a lie. If it's a false salvation, it's a wrong salvation. It's no salvation at all. Know what you believe and believe what you know. Keep searching, keep looking, know the truth. There is
is the truth and it's the right way. And I want that for you. Just know. Truth will always tell you what is truth. And a lie will always deceive you what is not. So, I just want to share that with you tonight. And have a good night. And know that what I say is not always the truth. But it could be.